Robert Forrester, Chief Executive of Virtu Motors, uh, the, one of Britain's biggest car dealerships is with us. Robert, morning. Morning, Mel. In terms of that investment then and encouragement to invest that Simon Emony is talking about, what does that look like to you? What would you want to hear at Virtu? Um, well, we need a plan for the government about how they're going to take the burden off businesses in terms of the very high tax rates that business pays. That takes cash out of businesses. That makes it harder to invest. Um, but also we need to see how they're going to reduce overall costs. I mean, yesterday we saw the impact on the national minimum wage, which impacts companies large and small actually across the UK. Yeah. That's going to I mean, further. I mean, you, you employ thousands of people, Robert. How do you how do you plan for a, a change like that? I mean, it doesn't come until April, but I guess you're already having to think about that now. Is that up yeah, in prices we, we, we now? Are, we are having to think about it. And to be honest with you, prices are not directly related to wages. That's not a, a relationship in no. our business that, that actually works. So we have to... Uh, work our way through it. We're actually taking people on at the moment um, because actually car demand is, is actually pretty strong. But clearly, if you're talking about to, to business, that that has a depressing effect on margins. It has to, really, where it can't be passed on. And I think most businesses probably can't pass it on. Now, there is the benefit that people have more money in their pocket and could probably buy more used cars. So it's not an entirely negative thing, actually, in the context of the world. But I think what we're looking for is just stability and to take some of the burden off businesses. We've had the national minimum wage. The business rates point your previous call to mention is, is absolutely pivotal. Uh, you know, online businesses don't pay a lot of business rates, but actually a lot of retail businesses and a lot of businesses generally do. And I think that is one thing we'd definitely be looking for, which is that we do not need a, a rise in business rates. And what about this idea about full capital expensing, Robert, this sort of a tax break that that might well be ex extended or the Chancellor certainly thinking yeah, about I extending Yeah, I mean, you've got to get that into context. It's for plants and machinery which is great. We invest heavily in plant and machinery. We'll spend significant capex in building new dealerships this year. But for many British businesses, they're just trying to keep going. They're not investing heavily in plant and machinery, but they're still very valid businesses that employ people and serve customers. So I don't think that's a massive, massive thing for most businesses, if I'm honest. You, when you talked about stability, Robert, I'm interested in that because that that isn't just about changing the tax regime, isn't it? It's about having consistency. Yours is an area where, for example, government targets on when you can and can't sell petrol vehicles keep changing. Is that as important as any change in tax today? Yeah, and people want to, uh, people are making 10 year, 15 year investment decisions. They can't have flip flopping or, or actually aspirational targets that no one really ever thinks are really going to happen in the time frame that's set out. What we look for from government is to broadly set a regulatory framework that's stable, set an economic framework that's stable, have a size of the state that is actually sustainable and doesn't suck a load of interest payments out to foreign creditors. And as you get out of the way, leave businesses to create jobs, create prosperity, and then pay the taxes to fund the things the country needs. We seem to have got it wrong the wrong way at the moment. Uh, the state seems to be all important and business is less so. So come, what, five, six o'clock this afternoon when the dust settles, what will, what will a good outcome to you look like? Um, no negative changes and a little bit of help on business rates. Robert, thanks so much for your time this morning. Robert Forrester, the Chief Executive of Virtu Motors.